Hey there, friends, folks. You're the Canadian here, and I have been wandering for so long. So long. And I am showcasing the Wasteland mod in Minecraft. So, here's what you're going to want to do first. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is create a new world, because this does require a different uh, terrain option. So, what you're going to want to do is just create a world, let's just call it... Uh, Wasterland Canadia, for perfect. All right, then you go to options, world type. You're going to want to go all the way to Wasteland. Click done and create new world. Hey there, friends. Welcome to the Wasteland. This has been my home for way too many days. Now, what this does, what this mod does is it generates a bunch of, uh, well, Wasteland. It's got shrubs and dirt. There's no grass, no leaves, no oceans. And trust me, I've looked. I've looked. But what it does have is a uh, little... Little scattered buildings and tents like this, so, uh, you know, always got a place to sleep, so that's cool. One thing that I've done is I've actually installed a resource pack to take advantage of this. I got the, uh, mine out resource pack. Link for everything will be in the description. There we go, that's a little bit more like it. Now, one of the really cool things about this mod, aside from just generating uh, the overall feel of a wasteland from the Fallout series, you even got a little fire over there, is it does support... Uh, every mod that I tried to install, it worked perfectly with this mod. So I, I don't know if it's incompatible with anything, really. Because I've been going through and all it does is change the terrain generation. doesn't add any items, so I don't think you have to worry about it clashing with the code for any uh, specific item. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show off a little bit of what this mod's potential is. Alright, so what I've done is I've installed the Balkans Weapons mod as well as the Mo Creatures mod. And I've got some weapons here, so we're just gonna Fallout it up. Oh, gee, didn't mean to do that. Ow! Didn't mean to do that at all. But uh, hey, this texture pack has Fallout type sound, so that's, that's pretty cool. Wonderful. Alright, so we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. We're gonna look for uh, some houses to loot, maybe some abandoned buildings. That we can go inside of and take shelter from these scorpions that are freaking me out. Oh, man, that was that was a blunderbuss. That was pretty good. All right, this is like three showcases in one. All right, so as you see here, these houses will have loot inside of them. This one, we got an ink sack, which is just great. Okay, what am I going to do with an ink sack? But you can find all kinds of cool stuff in these houses. I, uh, I found a bucket of water, which in this kind of landscape, that's pretty valuable. Alright, so as you see in the distance there, it does generate uh, some decayed trees, and oh, right here, we've got a pretty big building. We got some mossy cobblestone or mossy stone brick, and uh, a little bit, looks like this might have been a library or something. So that's pretty cool. This, uh, you'll see these buildings scattered all over the place. They're fairly common. Just, uh, you know, take shelter in them, try to survive, try to live. Uh, the underground is mostly the same. From what I've seen, there's still ravines and dungeons and all that kind of good stuff, so that's pretty cool. And uh, just remember that water is not in abundance here. I haven't found any except for a little uh, ravine that had a little bit of water in it. And a bucket of water that I found in one of these buildings. So, if you download this mod, uh, you know, you're probably looking for a challenge. Maybe something unique, a little bit of a new Minecraft experience. I haven't seen any enemies since uh, I started adventuring, so... At least there's that. At least they don't seem to be very common around here. Plenty of glowstone though, so we got that going for us. Hey look, looks like light bulbs with the texture pack. So download for all the mods, I guess, will be in the description as well as download for this texture pack that I'm using. So if you want to become a wasteland wanderer and look like me, then by all means go download the mod, it's in the description. Let me know if you guys have a suggestion for any new mods, and until next time, this is Foster the Canadian, Wasteland Survivor, saying see ya. Oh, I shot the sky.